Okay, guys. So, um, it's Reese from Spresitora, Kane Corso, and, um, here with a Scoobert and her babies. So, this is what happens when you're two weeks in and, um, you were a rock star and now it's just old. Look at how she's sitting. <laughs> they are all getting in where they absolutely fit in and it is so funny look at her scoobert scoobert are you getting tired is it getting old she's like i just want to eat dinner and they ruined it she was eating her dinner and um they wanted to nurse and that's how she decided to do it Oh my goodness, Scoobert! Did it get oh? <laughs> look at that look, <laughs> Scoobert! Scoobert! Oh my God, she is so over it. Look at the look she's giving me. She's like woman, like she's she's had babies and she's found out what it's all about, <laughs> and she is not a willing participant anymore. <laughs> And your man left you, and he went back to New York. No child support. No child support, Scoobert. No child support. No help. What is it called? No visitation. No visitation. No visitation. He left you cold and dry. He knocked you up, and he left you. And this is how he left her. Having to raise the babies. Having to raise the babies. She looks like a like a like one of those commercials where it sings in the arms of the angel, and um and and she needs she needs the support so you can donate a dollar a day to Scoob's cause and happiness. <laughs> oh God, I wasn't even gonna do a video today because I'm completely killed. I've been cleaning whelping boxes and doing stuff all day. I was watching Shark Week, and I look over, and Scoobert's over here feeling sorry for herself. So I thought I would get it for y'all's entertainment, because she really got me with that. She really got me. I guess I'll do an update so every we can see how everybody's doing. All right, so here we have Melina. Melina has the biggest babies, the biggest babies. Um, this guy right here is a monster. I don't know if you see it, but he's thick. He's thick, boys. So Melina, this time, is super mom. She's decided that she's not going to be trifling anymore. She's not going to run away. She ain't for them streets no more. Melina ain't for the streets no more. She's domestic. She's decided that she's domestic. Her babies are hellhounds. So, um, I was saying, like, in my last video that I was shocked by the colors that I got. And Rachel was even like, girl, you ain't gonna get no blues out of Melina. Look at that. Oh, my God. I just want to squish its butt. Squish his butt. He's like, no, woman. So, um, that's gonna be my keeper right there. There go my keeper. Um, yeah, so, I think, like, rules don't apply when it comes to Melina. Uh, she's a hellhound. She, um, hit her father. Um, well, she, she contacted her father, Satan, and she told him that she needed to break some, bend some genetic rules, and um, you know, she wanted to flip the script on us and, and show us because she heard us talking smack about how she couldn't have blue babies. And then, boom, baby, there they are. And some black babies. I didn't think I'd get black babies either. Look at them babies. Oh, my God. Black like the night, like the darkness in the sky. And there's still, like, availability on this litter. And that's just crazy. It's about to be none, but there is some. And um, that little fat chunk, he's moved all the way right there. And then this one is a hoss. He is a bruiser hoss. And that's a boy, too. These are some very, very big puppies. Oh, my goodness. That, that black one 
And I think I want to say that's a she is on a whole nother level. <laughs> so, um, and then we have the one that um, likes to nurse the Yoni. So, I used to fight Yoni suckers. I, I used to. I used to pull them off. I used to be on them like white on rice. And then I decided someday maybe they... The yoni suckers are part of the process. Maybe there is some divine reason why they do it. So I, I let them go now. Because now I believe in my heart. In my heart of hearts. That the yoni suckers are doing an actual job. So um, this is how Melina's guys are doing. She's a fantastic mother. This is her and Don Juan's creations. Um, with a dab of her father's Satan sprinkled in. Um, with the hey guys, okay, I'm back. I'm with Jade's litter. All 13 of them. So, last time you seen these guys, their eyes were closed. Um, they were little teeny little meatballs. And um, they were definitely not mobile. They were sleuth sleuthing around. And now, um, miraculously, I don't even know how this even happened because it feels like they're only two weeks old. I don't know. Maybe time has surpassed me and it's been longer than it's actually been. Um, but um, here we are. They're walking. Um, they're starting to play with each other. Um, they're biting each other. They're, look at that one. Having fun. And, um, I don't know. We're just doing really good and we're taking off. And, um, Jade has the whelping pad, the pad that they're on pushback. It's clean, I swear. So, um, about every two days I take this thing up and I wash it and put it down and it's pretty. And then she just kicks it back up. Ooh, look at that baby. So, um, we still have a lot of availability as far as females go. So, if you're <laughs> interested, um, there's a lot of desirable um, colors in this litter. And they're going to be, like, very good dogs, fantastic dogs. Um, e Echo, Echo, stop. Echo, stop. Echo, so my daughter is in the kitchen, and she's about to um, get me to monetize, so I just had to stop that. I'm sorry. So anyway, I have availability. Oh my god, look at that. On this litter for females, so if you're interested, put in the application. Don't miss out on this. Um, so we're all doing good. All 13 are still alive and kicking. They get in where they fit in, and Jade is carrying this litter now, um, all by herself. And they're nice little fat pumpkins, so. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I made some homemade chicken and dumplings, and I made a homemade cheesecake, and I'm going to, um, feed my children and pig out myself, you guys. <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.